Welcome to TAO, the podcast where we dive into the latest tech and AI news with a friendly chat. I'm Sarah, your go-to for all things tech. And I'm Mike, here to ask the questions you're curious about. So Sarah, what's first on the list today? First up, Meta is making waves again by expanding into wearable tech and AI. They've partnered with Oakley to launch the HSTN line of AI-powered smart glasses. These glasses come with a hands-free 3K camera, Meta AI integration, and improved battery life. Wow, smart glasses are becoming a reality. But what's the deal with their AI talent push? Well, after a failed attempt to acquire Ilya Sutskiver's $32 billion startup Safe Super Intelligence, Meta is now in talks to hire Daniel Gross, the CEO, and Nat Friedman, the former GitHub CEO. They're aiming to strengthen their AI super intelligence lab. Interesting. Sounds like Meta is really doubling down on AI. What's next? Moving on, Foxconn and NVIDIA are in talks to deploy humanoid robots at a new factory in Houston. This factory will produce NVIDIA AI servers, and the use of humanoid robots marks a significant milestone in advanced manufacturing. Humanoid robots in a factory. That's like something out of a sci-fi movie. When is this expected to happen? They plan to have the robots working by the first quarter of next year. It's Foxconn's first AI server factory to use humanoid robots, and it's a big step for NVIDIA too. That's definitely a game changer. What's up next? Google is training its latest AI video generator, VO3, using videos from YouTube. This has caused concern among creators who weren't informed their content was being used. So, creators are worried their work is being used without permission. Can they do anything about it? They can opt out of third-party training, but they can't stop Google from using their content. VO3 generates eight-second videos with audio, which is a unique feature compared to competitors. That's a tricky situation for creators. What's our next topic? Next, we have Asterisk, a Y Combinator startup, launching Claudia, a free open source GUI for developers using Anthropic's Claude code. It's designed to replace the terminal chaos with a visual dashboard. Sounds like a handy tool for developers. What features does it offer? It has project browsing, reusable agents, and session time travel with branching, similar to Git. Claudia is privacy-focused and available on GitHub. That seems really useful. Let's move on to the next topic. The BBC has threatened legal action against Perplexity, accusing them of illegally scraping content to train their AI model. The BBC wants them to stop using their content and provide compensation. Wow, legal issues with AI are becoming more common. How has Perplexity responded? Perplexity called the claims manipulative and opportunistic, saying the BBC misunderstands the technology and law. Legal battles in AI are definitely heating up. What's next? Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, AEL has won a contract to commercialize Aero's small satellite launch vehicle technology. This aims to boost India's private space sector. That's a big win for Hayel. What does this mean for India's space industry? HAL will build, operate, and market SSLV launches, planning to produce up to 12 launch vehicles annually. It's a step towards making India a global hub for small satellite launches. Exciting times for India's space sector. What's our next story? Infosys founder Narayana Murthy has dismissed fears of AI-driven job losses. He believes AI will transform work and create new roles. That's an optimistic view. Did he give any examples? Yes, he mentioned how ChatGPT reduced his speech writing task from 30 hours to just five. He compares this shift to past innovations like bank computerization. It's refreshing to hear a positive perspective on AI. What's next? India's first AI unicorn, Krutrim, has acquired Bharatsa Ayak. This acquisition aims to merge Krutrim's technology 
with Bharat Sai's expertise in affordable AI bots for public projects. So they're focusing on public service applications. How do they plan to achieve this? By leveraging their new AI assistant, Kruti, Krutrim plans to scale these applications across India, making AI more accessible and beneficial for citizens. That sounds promising for public sector AI. What's our next topic? South Korea's SK Group is teaming up with AWS to build the nation's largest AI data center in Ulsan. The project involves a huge investment with AWS contributing $4 billion. That's massive. When is this expected to be up and running? Construction starts in September and the facility should be operational by 2029. They aim to create a global AI hub outside the capital. That's a significant investment in AI infrastructure. What's next? SoftBank founder Masayoshi San is planning a trillion dollar industrial complex in Arizona, codenamed Project Crystal Land. It's focused on building robots and AI. A trillion dollar project, that's ambitious. What's the goal here? The goal is to bring high-end tech manufacturing back to the U.S., potentially partnering with Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Co. It's still in the preliminary stages. That's a bold move by SoftBank. What's our final topic? Lastly, Wipro is leading a significant expansion of Indian-owned businesses in the UK. They've topped the list of fastest growing firms with a 448% revenue increase. That's incredible growth. What's driving this expansion? It's credited to localization and major contracts. Overall, Indian-owned firms in the UK generated £72.1 billion in revenue, with the tech sector remaining dominant. It's great to see such strong growth. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for tuning in to TAO. We hope you enjoyed the discussion. Until next time, stay curious and informed. See you next time.